The normally huge size of pension funds and life insurance finances, coupled with their long-term nature, call for the highest degree of professionalism and integrity among those in charge. The professionals that help in making key decisions related to such funds are actuarial scientists. I think as actuaries we have a big role to play in the reform discussions that are going on in the pension sector and the implementation of the policies that are being drafted within the pension sector. Serve the public interest and regulate and promote actuarial science. And certainly as a professional body we view that ethical approach, that serving the public interest as something that's very important. Uh, and it's something you get from being an actuary, being a, a member of a professional body. The problem though is that they are in very short supply in Uganda, even as the country prepares to liberalize the over 5 trillion shillings pension sector. I'm a board member of one of the pension schemes in Uganda. And that happens to be the parliamentary pension scheme. And only two weeks ago, we were discussing our accounts. And it so happened that uh, we had invited an actuary, but he found us not ready, so he went away. So there was a charge on our, on our pension scheme. So we were wondering whether we call him back, because I think he's in South Africa, and we had already spent the only money we had budgeted for him. That's how bad it is for lack of actuaries in Uganda and I think in the whole of Africa. Now the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries in the UK says it has established an academic collaboration with the College of Business and Management Science at Makere University, which will be a step towards bridging the professional gap. This coming at a time when annual actuary evaluations are mandatory for life insurance service providers in Uganda stresses the importance of such developments for the economy.